In this video, I'm going to cover how to move dimensions in Creole 2.0. In Creole 1.0 and previous versions of Pro Engineer, whenever you clicked on a dimension, you would see drag boxes. Each dimension had several drag boxes and a lot of them were redundant. So what they did in Creole 2.0 is they simplified it and now what you see is the, uh, the cursor changes to a move cursor. It allows you to move the dimension by left clicking and dragging. This is also true for radius dimensions and any dimension. Now, when you, if you wanted to move the text from this side to this side, if you hold the shift key down, when you pick a dimension, if you hold the shift key down, you notice that the cursor changes to a left and right cursor. This allows you to move it to either side of the arrow. If you let go of shift, it turns back into a move cursor. When you're manipulating a standard dimension in this way, when you hold shift, it will allow you to move the text left or right, and another thing you'll notice that it does snap the text to the center automatically for you. If you hover over the dimension line, you can move the dimension up and down without moving the text. So again, if you left click, you can move the dimension in all directions. And if you hold shift, it's called the modifier. The modifier allows you to manipulate it in other ways. If you hover over the extension lines you'll notice they turn black and this allows you to move them around similar to how you did before so it's actually very is a lot more simplified than before and, uh, and a lot cleaner than before but it is different and if you're not aware of the shift key modifier you'll probably have a difficult time figuring out how to move the dimension around like you used to so I hope this helps